Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> Didn't realize that for YouTube, I've not uploaded anything zombies related since the beginning of 2022. And it's uh, halfway through 2023. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. Um, well, yeah. Uh, now, what a, a lot of people probably were thinking was, you know, oh, he probably just quit zombies. And No, I never, never quit zombies. One thing I've always said when people have asked me this over the many years is just if I would ever quit zombies, it would be because I'm not having fun with it anymore. And I do still enjoy zombies. But this is kind of where we get to the point of this video. And I want to talk about my enjoyment of zombies over the past few years specifically. The simplest way to put it is content creation specifically for zombies was just unfun for me. Now, I wasn't bored of content creation or I didn't think that there was content I could make that would have gotten views or anything like that, you know? It was more the community tune around content creation became more, what can I do for views over anything else? And that seems a bit redundant because, you know, content creation, the whole point is, you know, get people to watch your stuff. But there's a line and before i go any further i want to stress this one point about any other creators besides one group that we'll get into later i don't think any of them are bad people by any means but all actions do have reactions now from bo for the cold war was where this mentality shift kind of really started to kick in and it became a everything goes for creators as long as it benefited the person uploading the video some examples of this type of content people covering leaks and data mines it became so rampant that if you wanted to be involved in the zombies community at all you basically had to say you were okay with knowing everything before we were supposed to know any of it creators are taking ideas from each other blatantly and acting like it's their own thing and let me add a side note here you can see someone else's video idea and if you add your own personality to it and then it becomes different that is fine but that's not what was happening at all clickbait got so rampant that it just became misinformation being spread everywhere just for the sake of getting views and then the people that were streaming the game regularly would constantly have to correct the viewers that were like oh did you see this video and we would just be like no that was clickbait they lied and last but not least, and don't get me super started on this, but all the react content to where people would just sit there and go ooh ah in a video and reap all the benefits from someone else's actual creative work. I use these examples specifically because they're all something that I can attest to myself happening to me. But not only me, I could see this happening to other content creators as well. And I know there's going to be people hearing me talk about this and be like, well, actually, you could just, you know, mute them on Twitter or unsub for them on YouTube. Why are you whining about this? You can avoid it. And guess what? I did all of that. Everyone basically besides Greg, I had to mute and unsub from. So that way I could still try to enjoy zombies my way. In my Twitch chat, even, I've had to block people's names from even being typed in there to try to deter this stuff from even happening. But see, this is where the issues become more apparent. Because if you want to be involved in a community, and no matter how hard you try, you can never fully ignore the people who are at the top of the community. And if the people at the top of the community deem that something is acceptable in terms of content now, you below there have to either overwork yourself to avoid it or just not be able to enjoy a game just love it the way that you want to do it with others ultimately i decided just to step back from the zombies content creation community not the game just the content community as a whole so that i could focus on wanting to be more creative and pushing that side of me and then this is where we're going to talk about my venture into mod tools now, I want to start off this section here by saying I have met some amazingly nice people from starting mod tools. And without them, not only would I ha not have the knowledge to make the most scuffed things that I've currently made ever, but they've also continued to give me the motivation to actually keep making content. So I am extremely grateful for them. But I will also say that by far the scummiest experience I've ever had with content creation has also happened in this same space. 
few years ago, I was on stream discussing ideas, and I was still brand new to mod tools for the most part at the time. Well, a well-known map maker appeared in my chat and essentially was telling me I don't understand how much work it would really be to do it all, and came off as they were basically trying to persuade me from getting into mod tools at all. They later apologized to me, and I believed it at the time. However, a couple months or a month or two passes, and I get a message from someone else, and they were telling me, hey, you remember that stream a bit ago with blank from your chat? Well, while you were discussing those ideas, they were taking them all and they were saying that they're going to try to make them before you while also just talking crap about you in a discord call. So basically they just were wanting to warn me that I should try to keep my ideas more private until I get more actual finished products to show off for each thing. Now, when this happened at the time, I first mentioned about this happening on Twitter. And coincidentally, I had other mod tool friends reach out to me and they were basically like, oh no, don't tell me that this is something involving blank. So this individual definitely apparently has a reputation for not being such a great person. And side note as well, I have seen some of my ideas that I talked about from that stream out in the wild ever since then. So take it for what it's worth. While I'm still super appreciative of being told about that happening so I can like protect my ideas and everything, it definitely put me in a weird mental funk ever since. I do genuinely still enjoy zombies and I want to make content around it. I really do. However, the traditional zombies content route kind of got ruined for me as I just talked about earlier. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put my creative outlet in the mod tools. And now the same thing happened there as well, but even worse, arguably, because they were going to try to profit off of it even. And on top of all of that, even <laughs> this is when Black Ops 3 started having horrid security issues. So we weren't even sure if custom zombies was even going to still exist anymore. It was just one thing after another. All in all, it definitely just affected my content creation flow as a whole because I had this constant feeling of not only having to watch over my shoulder with anything that I said or did on just my regular streams about almost anything now, but I had to decide whether I wanted to stream or I wanted to try to do mod tool stuff off stream and be creative on that front. But this is now where we're getting at the penultimate of what this entire video is about. The one thing that I need to work on the most, and that is what this video is helping me do, is just ignoring everyone else and just do my content the way I want to do it with my ideas. Now in reflection, you can say that's what the other content creators have been doing. And with that thought, you know, to each their own. But I will say, I just hope that any content or ideas I ever make promotes others to want to be creative. It doesn't result in feeling like someone can't be involved in a community because of something that I put out there, whether it was on purpose or whether it was by accident. I know as creators as well, we do need to keep an eye on our numbers and we want things to always perform the best that we can. But if we can make content that not only that we actually care about, but you guys also care for, that's the goal for me and what I want to push towards. Like, especially over the last few years when I've not been doing really any zombies besides the occasional customs on stream. Whenever people come in and just be like, hey, I really appreciate all the content, especially zombies, but they'd say all the content that you've done over the years. It really was a good time for me. That makes me feel really good. And that's the feeling that for me, I drive for in content creation. So what's my bigger content plan before I go rambling any further on this? It's nothing really, I mean, obviously too major. And this video, like I said just a second ago, is kind of the start of me just wanting to be more active with zombies again. Whether it's mod tools or just playing custom maps or doing more speed runs, which I'll be honest, for the last year or two, I've kind of wanted to go back and do more Frozen Dawn speed runs. So I don't know, maybe we'll do that sometime, but w whatever ends up coming up with zombies, just wanting to be more involved with it. If you remember the roguelike project video that I made a while back, I have essentially two years worth of updates that I could share with y'all about 
the 42 perks, I think it's 42 perks, I forget ex the exact number, but 42 perks that are made for it. And I have an entirely original AAT system that I would love to show off and see different people's opinions on it. So there's that type of stuff I can show off. And especially for on streams, there's another mod tools project that I want to do more specifically for streams. And the best way to explain it is think dead ops arcade, but then it's more binding of Isaac or vampire survivors. It could go either way, or maybe I'm even make both. I don't know. That's we'll, we'll figure that out later <laughs> as it comes along, but also fair warning as I'm sitting here and talking about this, me making this video as well. Isn't like a 24 zo seven zombies thing or expect a zombies video every Sunday at 5 PM schedule type of thing. It's like, I do still really enjoy my other games. I still enjoy my destiny, although it's not in the greatest spot right now. Final Fantasy 14, I still love, and it's become more of an off stream enjoyable game for me, but I would like to do some more of the end game content on stream and any other games that may roll along. If you've made it to here in the video, I just want to say thank you. And I appreciate you for just listening to me ramble and just get stuff off my chest. I've been in this mental headset for years now, and it's good just to put my thoughts together, put how I felt and how what the zombies community was at the time affected me. And that's not to sit there and say that like it was the most worst place ever to be ever, you know, but for me, it was definitely not a good place to be, but I truly hope for the best for everyone. No ill will at all towards anyone or anything, even with the messed up module situation from that creator. I want the best for everyone. And especially I want the best for me. And I hope this video is my kickoff point for me getting back on really wanting to do that creative path. And for everyone that especially over the last few years has stuck with me and pushed me that extra motivation to keep going and to get me to this point especially thank you so to the future i hope you guys like the ideas eventually once i get the stuff together to show off and let's hope for the best yeah y'all have a good day or night or afternoon or holiday or whatever it is see you later